I've been itching to get a proper American RV onto Motorholic, and so when I saw that Silverstone Auctions had a Damon Astoria Pacific coming up for auction, I gave the guys a shout there and said, any chance I can come and do a walk-around video? And they said, absolutely, come and help yourself. So here it is, we're finally gonna get a proper American RV onto the channel. Now this is a pretty big beast, as you can see, and it's got these big slide-outs on it, which make it huge inside. Of course, we'll go into there in a minute. This one's a 2008. It's got a 340 horsepower Cummins diesel engine in it. And this one's actually been used a lot for paddock use. So it's been hired out to some fairly famous drivers apparently have used this one. So that's quite interesting. Got the awning on this side, as you can see up the top there, but where this gets really interesting, of course, is when we go inside. Let's go and take a look. So there's really only one word that springs to mind when you come into here, and that is huge look at the size of this it's fantastic you can see here of course the benefits of these slide outs and just how much space that generates but we'll start here right at the front this is obviously where you drive it from you've got these big comfortable seats up here and they swivel around as you can see this one is done so they become part of the furniture when you're at rest and then up here this is actually the driving position for the vehicle fully automatic of course you can see the selector down there and then a big panoramic windscreen like so. Anyway, let's head on back and take a look at what we've got inside here. So seating on both sides, this is clearly the lounge area. So you've got a nice settee here and a slightly larger one actually over on this side. Storage all up along the top and then there's a dinette directly behind it. So a great place to sit and have a meal or a chat. And of course you've got the blinds all the way around here as well over the windows. And opposite that then is the galley area. So here are things like the cooker is underneath here. You've got a sink next to it, like so. There's a microwave also up above it. And then these are all storage for all of your plates and crockery and that kind of thing. And a bit more storage down in places like this. And then as we come back a little bit further, well, this is a fridge freezer over here. so. Fridge underneath, and then freezer up above. And opposite that, then they put a flat screen TV in here. And again, more storage tucked away in places like this and the iron. So that is your main living area. And then your bedroom and your toilet facilities and bathroom are all back here. So if we come right back, this is your wash basin and also a shower is in here quite a decent size and they put a big translucent skylight in as well so you've got loads of light into there that's rather nicely finished actually i like the way they've done that as i say wash basin is here and then the toilet of course well that's completely separate over on this side so toilet there and again nice finish the way they've done that there's an opening hatch in the ceiling as well very good and then right at the back You've got this area so this is the basically the bedroom the bed is over on the on the port side we call that on a on a yacht i don't know whether you do on a motorhome or not <laughs> on the left on the near side there we go but really good size and you can see you can walk all the way around it which is not always the case on motorhomes of course opposite that then is uh, another tv up here that you can watch in bed and then big drawers so you can get all your clothes and everything tucked away so if you're spending some time in here you can get everything put away and another little treat you've got back here then is in here because it's actually got its own washing machine on it. Look at that. That's pretty amazing. I was surprised to see that on there. So that's that one. And then you've got these mirrors here and behind here, this is just a big wardrobe right the way across the back of the vehicle. Like so. But it is huge, isn't it? The amount of space in here, I was really, really impressed by this. Let's go back on through. Let's say once you come out here, this is where you get that feeling of space. Look at that, that's magnificent. Cool, let's head on right back up to the front. And I think we'll finish up here in the driving seat. And say thank you to Silverstone Auctions for letting me have a look at that. That's much appreciated. Hope you've enjoyed that one. And we've got some great stuff coming for you very soon. So hit the subscribe button if you've not already, and it'll keep you posted every time something gets uploaded.
Catch you very soon. Take care.